Hey guys, how you doing? VT Maestro here. Hope all is well. Well, today is the day. Going to start the new solar. Do the install. Going to go ahead and drill my holes in the ground today and uh, get that process going first. So I want to show you what I'm up to. All right, sorry for uh, any wind noise here. Just got back from the uh, lumber yard. Picked up three sawn tubes here that are 12 feet in length. Also picked up some concrete. Going to uh, grab some concrete every time I go to the lumber yard because I'm going to I'm going to need a lot of concrete and I don't want to uh, put it all in the back at once. So I go ahead and buy four or five, six bags at once. And when I do multiple trips, every time I come from there, I get more concrete. So I've got the sauna tubes, need those to uh, figure out my holes, and uh, I'm gonna go up to the uh, rental place and get a uh, post hole digger, rent that and get going on it. All right guys, so I got the uh, post hole digger here, hydraulic one. And I got a 10 inch bit because my sauna tubes are gonna be eight inches and I wanna drill a little, little bit bigger than eight inches. So I got 10 and I got the digger. This is gonna make it a lot easier. Still some work involved, but pretty psyched. All right guys, so I got everything set up here. Got the uh, auger on, and uh, I'm gonna fire it up and give it a shot here. Start digging, just maybe drill one test hole, do a test pit, try things out, make sure I get everything all set. Um, I've rented this machine twice before. I rented it once to do this set array, and then in the second year, I did that right over there. So, been down this road before. It's uh, still gonna be some work because uh, of clay soil, rocks, farmland here. Uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, work it and it will get stuck and, but it's part of the process and uh, still way cheaper to do this yourself than it would be to hire a company to come in and do this. All right guys, I'm gonna show you where I'm at here. I got two holes dug. What I'm basically doing is I'm just getting the holes dug at this uh, level using the auger there's an extension i can put on i'll do that once i get all my holes dug and go down deeper so i can get down to the frost line so you can see here i'm dealing with two types of soil here i got this terrible clay it's super hard it takes forever to get through and uh, what i'm doing is i'm breaking it up a little bit with the auger and then i have to take out uh, that soil with the uh, post hole digger right there um, clean it up and then over and over and over again I do the process repeat it and eventually and then I break through and I get this type of soil um, which is darker right there uh, but it's like perhaps the first uh, 18 inches 20 inches is really really hard and then I can break through so that's where we're at it's really hard soil right there I get through that layer. All right, guys, so it's the following morning, and I'm heading down to the uh, site here. And I'm going to uh, continue on drilling holes today. All right, so good morning. Wow, it was, uh, it was a long day yesterday, a hard day but a good day of work. Um, anyone who thinks using that machine is easy, it's not. It takes a ton of muscle, especially when you hit rocks. And uh, I ended up using the uh, post hole digger, uh, the manual one a lot to clean out the holes. And um, my problem here is lots of clay soil and uh, getting through the first 18 inches is really tough. But let's go ahead and take a look at what I did yesterday. I got eight holes uh, done. I got four more to do, really five, because I have to do one for uh, my power connections, one for an actual post. So here's what I got drilled out here. Six done over here. And two on the separate array over here. Take a look at this. This was almost unreal. This is how I finished up the evening. And I'm pulling out all these rocks, and there were some big ones. I thought maybe I hit some kind of rock grave or something. Uh, and don't let that 
piled dirt field there's all rocks underneath there it's just a little bit of dirt on top of all the rocks so it was uh that was a bear so what do i have left here i got uh one two three four more holes to finish this side of the array and then i'm going to do one more hole over here for a post that'll be very similar to that setup over there all right so uh boy yesterday was really hot it was our first 90 degree day and i was out here um had a nice wind but uh it was still hot and like i said before using that machine is a lot of work um i kind of wish i had a uh, mini skid steer or something that was more automatic but that's all they had so that's what i took so right now it's probably uh 70 degrees out it's going to get hot too i got a, a canopy tent i'm going to bring down so i'm not working in the sun when the sun gets a little higher in the sky and uh hopefully get this done so goal here is to finish drilling the rest of the holes and then i'm going to go back through and put my extension on the uh on the driller and go down even deeper try to go down as deep as i can frost line in vermont is around four feet so that would be great but i'm not planning on getting that deep it's been really dry which is awesome because i don't see any water i know i drilled that array over there i went down about 40 inches and i hit water and i'm probably around 40 inches now on these holes and i haven't seen anything so i'll go as deep as i can deeper the better all right so i'll check back with you in a little bit all right guys, check this out here. I brought out McQuamaroo, my solar powered generator, and I went ahead and disconnected my one of my solar panels here, the M1 in my current array, connected it, MC4 connectors here, over, bridged over to the input of my solar powered generator. Check this out here. It's uh, partly cloudy right now, but I'm pulling in 49 watts 1.7 amps and that's a 270 watt panel 24 volt So why am I doing this? Well, let me show you. There's no breeze today and I'm dying out here. So I'm Gonna use the fan here off my quamerator The fan draws about 150 watts on the lowest setting 190 watts in the highest setting So once the uh, Sun comes back out, which it just has um, I'll be constantly charging my quamerator, which will be powering the fan. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Much better. Wow, it's gonna be awesome. All right, so there we go. If that isn't DIY, I don't know what is, okay? My quamerator, using the solar power panel on the end, powering the fan, keeping me nice and cool while I work. Alright, so the sun's getting higher in the sky. Let's see. The fan's drawing 129 watts. Let's see what the panel's putting out. Panel is putting out 123 watts, 4 amps. So it's nearly a wash. See me amps been draw 1 amp here on AC power. Or 120 volt. As you can see I'm pulling in 100 and roughly almost 130 watts at 4.7, 4.67 amps. Now that's a 24 volt. There you go. Near wash and power here. And uh, totally keeping myself nice and cool. Free energy today. Free cooling today. All right guys, so I just finished up digging all the holes and uh, got 13 done. Got 12 for the two solar rays and I got an extra one over here for a pulse which will be similar to that. 
So I just finished up doing was I put the extension on the post hole digger here, which extends it by um, 12 to 18 inches. And I just went down each hole and went as far as I could. Nearly every hole now is 48 inches. There's uh, maybe one over here is 36 and one back there that's around 36 just because there's rocks down there three feet down big ones and I can't get them out so cut my losses you'll be fine there we go next step gonna bring this back to the rental place and then I'll come back start cleaning up get the rocks start cleaning up the area and then I'll start working on solid tubes I need to get some gravel too so I'll show you how I do it next get my strings out but right now, returning equipment and getting ready to move on to the next part of the, of the uh, project. Just one last thing here. I'm going to unhook the McQuamerator. And whenever you take off a solar panel, you have to make sure it's not under load. So I covered it. Also hit my disconnect over there on the AC side. And then I'm going to disconnect it here and plug it back into the in-phase inverter. All right, guys. So I just got back from returning the equipment to the uh, rental place. And um, I think I'm gonna call this part one, finish up with this video here, digging the holes. So I'll continue on. Not sure if I'm going to continue this weekend doing it. It's Memorial Day weekend and uh, I'm gonna have to get some rest. But uh, I'll take you along with the journey here as we continue forth with the solitudes and doing the concrete, installing the, uh, the rack, doing all the solar and the wiring and uh, do a multi-part series here. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Subscribe, leave a comment. I'll leave a comment and uh, big thumbs up is appreciated and we'll catch you next time.